there are no re redos. So what were you going to say? What's some questions right now? Capture this moment in time. Concept um, of realms. Go ahead. Do you, do you plan on changing your name? I already changed my name multiple times. I am known by many names. Pretty soon in the future, I'm gonna make a thousand names. I'm gonna have 20 wives, 100 kids. <laughs> People think I'm worth it. I'm gonna have 20 wives, 100 kids. But later down in the future, when when I think it's the correct time, I'll, I'll, I'll change my name a thousand times. You'll change your name? Yeah, not. It's not gonna be Albert? Not written on paper. I got many names already. What? I got many names already. Why do you want to change names? I'm not changing that paper, G. You just don't get it. Waste of time. Stuck in the masses. Stuck in the matrix, Mingo. Come on, man. You waste some right, time so. for $50 a minute. You just don't get it. A million a year. $50, $50 a minute. All right, so how many how many books do you plan on reading? This year or like this year? A thousand books this year. Right now I'm at it's January I think twenty six. I only read twenty two books so far this month, so I'm behind. You I'm behind my help. <laughs> All right, so who's your favorite artist? Right. Who's your favorite? Myself. Yourself? Yes, sir. But like, if you had to choose one artist to show your favorite song, who would that artist be? Or your best song? I show it to J. Cole. Wait, Dead or Alive? Or just Alive? Alive. J. Cole, I show J. Cole my song. That was a good question, told you. Yeah. I wasn't like that shit's off the brains, but uh, let's keep going, dude. You gotta just flow with right, it. Just flow with no it. redos. All right. All right. So, for mistakes that make greatness. So you said how many wives? Twenty. Twenty wives. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think 20 is a lot, but 20 wives. <laughs> it might be 21. I don't know yet. 20 wives? Yeah, I thought yeah. you said 20 kids. I didn't know no, you said 20 kids. wives. <laughs> 100 kids, 20 wives. <laughs> hey, what's that shit on Friday? <laughs> you said what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, alright, we're there. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Twenty wives. I don't. I don't even think it's possible though. Like to have twenty wives. You don't though. think it's possible? Yeah, cause like one of the not wives. Not married. All of them, as far as on paper. A lot of my life will not be on paper. But wait, wait. So you're gonna, so you're gonna have a wife, divorce her, then have another wife, divorce her. No, nah, man. I have twenty wives all at once, all in the same household. Take care of all of my kids. Bro, this nigga say he's about to have 20 wives. I am. Play is a player. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Bubbles, who was that going to hook up here? Yeah. It's a waste of time. So you got to move, G. How do you think million... You want How do you 20? think millionaires and billionaires move, bro? You got to... Have a wife in uh, house. When I talked to Myron, it was $50 a minute, bro. That's how I'm I think. I think million years. You made a million dollars the last year. That's 90000 a month. I $50 think, advice for an hour could give you $100 million. Oh, right. You just said it all wrong. Right, it's 500 for 10 minutes. That's $50 a minute. That's a million a year. That's 500 for 10 minutes. You got to move like that if that's who you want to become. That's why my book would be so expensive because it got to reciprocate. Yeah, I definitely think millionaires move like 
Like, like, like they really think about their time and what they're doing. Like they don't. Hell uh, yeah! I'm not just gonna they, sit around and just waste. This is time. what I was trying to say. How much did you say it cost an hour? Well, an hour is three thousand dollars. Three thousand for one hour. That's no that's, for the dude you were talking to. Three thousand for one hour. I didn't get an hour. I got ten minutes, which was five hundred dollars, which was fifty dollars a minute. Oh wait, so fifty dollars a minute? Yes, sir. So that one minute, fifty dollar advice could make you a millionaire. Yeah, if you pay attention and apply the the knowledge that you're you're obtaining. Because if it goes in one ear and out the other, you're just a useful. You're just useful. Wait. You sure you're not useful? But, <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you one thing that my Myron told me. He told me the fact that I was able, the fact that I paid the five hundred to talk to the, to him. With he made a million dollars last year in real estate, and what I'm about to and, and what I'm already in. And he he said the fact that you invested in yourself so early on. It shows. I ain't gonna lie. He, he said the mindset you got, you're ahead of everybody your age. That's what Myron told me. And shit, he wasn't bullshit. My one thing about Myron, he he stayed to his word. He's dying on the sword and he's keeping it real, just like I am. So I already know if I'm doing all this at my age, when somebody else become my age, they're gonna follow. There's gonna be somebody that's listening to this video, that's studying at every. Step I take, and everything, all, everything will reciprocate itself back to me. So that means if I, if I buy a book for a thousand dollars, it will come right back to me. It's the energy that you you're um projecting out into the world. Yeah. So, um, where do you see yourself three years from now? 24, 25, 26, 27. I think you're like 26, maybe. I'll be, you said three? Mm-hmm. Well, I, w I won't be working a job no more. Three years. Won't be working a job no more. Shit, I'll be at, I'll be at 200K by then. 200K a year. And just off of real estate, I'll just be buying real estate. Like one one part, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all this. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of things that I say that y'all won't get until y'all get older, when y'all receive the knowledge, and y'all, the more knowledge you get, the more you'll understand everything around you and everything I'm saying. So, how I got my whole wall covered with I am the fifth millionaire. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will say that's that's delusional. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. A rich person, a person that's already that did what I, I'm doing already. That's smart. A creative person to a millionaire to a billionaire. That's creative. That's that's thinking outside the box. To a poor person, that's delusional. That's crazy. That's they're not gonna relate. I'm the three percent. That means I am a millionaire. And if I'm the three percent, that means the ninety-seven percent cannot relate to me. The masses cannot; they can't dwell. At, they can't dwell where I exist. And a piece in my book it talks about. You never know. Everybody got a chessboard, and a lot of people hold their pieces invisible. So what I mean by that is, my next door could be uh, your next door could be your next door neighbor could be a multimillionaire, and if he never shows you. His assets, if he never show you any liquid money, you won't you won't see the pieces that he hold up on the chessboard. And that means that means I could have a Lambo in um Miami that you don't know about renting every day for a thousand dollars to travelers that are going to visit there. I could Well, it's it's deep, bro. It's basically like the the millionaire next door I'm talking about. Put it put it in this perspective. Let's say 
my sister come and pick me up for work every day, right? Yeah. To my neighbor, he's got to think that it's just a family member picking me up for work regular day. He don't know that I bought I bought her car. So the car that she's picking me up in, I already bought it. Mm-hmm. I already retired her. her. Her only job is to pick me up and take me wherever I want to go. They think I'm going to work. I'm going... I'm going around different neighborhoods to look at to look at houses to buy. They don't the neighbor don't even know that I own the whole block that we're living on. I own their house. They don't even know that I own their house because I have somebody else. I pay somebody else to manage their house, but I am the secret landlord. If that makes sense to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be crazy. So that means they don't know I'm a millionaire because I haven't t- I haven't told them, and most people got to see it to be- believe it, basically. So that's kind of like a make money in silence type of. And that's like the millionaire next door. That's that's exactly what it is. Most people you won't know that they're a millionaire unless they show you, and most people don't believe. If I tell you I'm a millionaire, you don't believe it until I show it. That's what Tito said. But if I never show you it, don't you ever judge me. You only see what I'm showing you. It's real, bro. But Albert can have a hundred thousand right now. We don't even know. We, we you won't. Even know. You would have to see it to believe it, oh, and man. um, it all depends. And most millionaires don't keep all their money liquid, so that means that they're they're already divided into assets already. So I I would have to convince you with a liability. For you to know that I have assets. Do you trust and that's banks? working backwards. Do you trust the bank? Trust myself. <laughs> no, nah, I don't trust no bank. So you would keep all your money liquid? To a certain extent, it depends. Like if like if I go broke right now, I'm gonna go broke investing into assets. I don't mind going broke because I got the mindset already. And once you got the mindset You'd rather go broke investing in than buying clothes and buying yeah, so a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. So that means, that means once I get to the third million, it's already game over. Oh yeah, you up now? It's already game over because even if I spend the whole three million, which I plan, I'm, I'm gonna just spend all my money. But it's gonna be the right way. When you spend all your money the right way, it brings passive income straight to you. That means any watch, anything I want, shit, it's already mine. Everything's already mine. When you see me pull out, when you see me pull out a lever, how much it cost for this whole store? We're gonna get to that point. It depends though, because everything got a format, everything got a structure to it, and you got to know the ins and outs before you can you can walk in and demand the asset really. Because if not, you're just wasting your time, and you just you're waste not only wasting your time, you could possibly waste your money on the wrong things. The wrong asset turns into a liability over time. Yeah, what's what's the most what's the most powerful thing you read in a book that made you that made you really change your mindset? Like you just There's read. never no one thing. You you should focus on one thing, but there's never one thing that makes you successful. All, all, all pieces of knowledge are fragments to your success. They all paved the way. They all, it's all like little pieces. Like a puzzle. Yeah, it's a puzzle. One piece don't make the puzzle. You need all the pieces to make the puzzle. That's basically how success is. Okay, okay. There's no one piece. Okay. Yeah. And that's that that makes sense there. Okay. But a couple, a, a couple powerful books would be the Bible. It'll be um, the Alchemist. Shit, what else? Man, it's the Compound Effect. How to Win Friends and Influence People. It's, it's a lot of different books. Many books. Another question.
Well, at 15 oh. minutes, I'm going to go into 20, and then we'll get back to it. All right. Five minutes. So, so looking at... I want you to look at it like this, too. When I tell you there's five minutes, look at it like you you look at it like you paid me two hundred and fifty dollars already. You pay you paid me two hundred and fifty dollars to have this conversation. That's five minutes. It's five hundred dollars for ten ten of my minutes. Do you get what I'm saying? But since your family it's all it's all free, but still to understand it's not because I want you to understand. Now look at it from the point of view you paid me two hundred and fifty dollars to have this five minute conversation it should make you step your seriousness up to multiple levels alright so so you pay me 250 uh, I'm listening now uh, so we're on your time you waste you're my a time millionaire. you're wasting yours you're a millionaire right now yep yes sir you're a millionaire how did you do it how did I do it there's First of all, how did I do it? I stayed true to myself. I kept my tenacity close. I stayed creative. And um, I got I got a lot of different products that, that shows my creativity. So that means I wrote the Fifth Millionaire book specifically for when people ask me, how did you do it? Nobody asked, I'll put it like this. If I wasn't a millionaire, you wouldn't, you wouldn't ask me that question. So, before I was a millionaire, I asked myself that question and I made a book about it. So, when somebody, there's already a book out there that I wrote called The Fifth Millionaire that breaks down how I did it. So, I would say the answer is my book called The Fifth Millionaire. That's what I made that question for. All right, yeah, that's good. All right, so. So, um,. What, what do you like to do? Like, what are some of the hobbies that, that, that you like and you would like to try, that you haven't yet? That I haven't. Go skydiving. Um, what else? Skydiving. Wait, get that. What are the things you want to accomplish before you die? Before I die. A hundred kids. I want to have a thousand duplexes, if not a thousand doors in real estate. A million a year. And um, I want to achieve all, I'm going to have a thousand goals. I want to achieve every goal. Until the last goal is to boil down to the being the best version of myself. Because each goal is different. Each goal is its own reality. And you must step in that, to that reality to make it become true to a certain extent. You must step into the spiritual realm to bring things to the physical realm. That's how I, that's how I can go in the studio, make music, say words physically that are coming from spirits be in my mind. All right, we got two more minutes, and then I'm going to cut it off. I mean, this this last two minutes is a hundred dollars. That's a hundred dollars, fifty dollars a minute. Time is ticking. Your time is, my time is not wasting. Yours is. So. There's a lot of things. In this reality that you can bring to life. I know so, I can be a billionaire. All I gotta do is just make it happen. So. So what do you want to make happen for yourself? I need more goals. That's what I need. A thousand goals should be my minimum. Because being bored in this this evolving world, being bored is unacceptable. And uh, we got thirty. We got twenty seconds. It's thirty dollars. Last question, last question. 15 seconds. All right, so, so, uh, fifth millionaire, um, 
I'll let this be the last question. Go ahead and make it. Make it well. All right. Well thought out. All right. You see how it makes you look at time different now? If I tell you that you're paying, if that you're paying two hundred and fifty dollars five minutes, yeah, it I makes you look at it different. It makes you look at. Yeah, it makes me fucking panic. Like yeah, I nah, it should make you focus. Every second is a pawn upon a chessboard, and you're sacrificing it to get to the other side. And even if you lose the game, you win the lessons. So what will be the last question? I, I made I put it in that that perspective so you could understand how it is, how serious your time should be spent. Nobody should be able to, to waste your time. If they waste your time, they paid you to waste it. And in reality, you got you got the lessons from yourself also. So right, it's never so, a waste of time. All right, so. Last question. So what advice do you got for me? What advice do I got for you? I would say study who you want to become. Who, who's where you want to be at. And be careful of who you listen to. You become your thoughts. You become what you think about. Everything everything is manipulating you to a certain extent in your reality. Everything that you see, this is all your your unconscious is picking it up. And you're consciously not even aware of anything around you. And you're conscious when you're conscious, that's only five percent of your your awareness. So what that means is if you can't control your mind, that's you lost a hundred percent of your your ability to think. When you're done, oh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. If you can't control your mind, you lost your mind 100%. Because how I'm controlling my mind, this is only 5% of my brain. To a certain extent, the rest is all unconscious. And I'll tell you, study study who you want to become. Because if you're studying, if you're studying everybody, that's that's nobody's. That's the quicker way to become them. If you want to, if you want to receive my mindset, you must study me. You must master who I am to a certain degree because nobody can fully emulate anyone. But they can adapt and have the potential to be greater than who they are paying attention to. And um. Watch who you watch who you pay attention to and watch watch who you listen to. Because who you're watching and who you're listening to is who you're becoming at all times. And that's real.